telecom giant MTN and its partners have brought together these women entrepreneurs to its head office in Lagos to intimate the media on its latest mission. But first, an update on the journey so far in MTN's quest to empower women. Women constitute over 50% of the Nigerian population, but just 35% of us are involved in entrepreneurship in the form of micro, small, and medium, and large enterprises. In 2020, only 47% of working age women participated in the labor market compared to 74% of men, a gender gap that has remained relatively constant since 1995. Established in 2004 as a CSR, MTN speaks on the importance of the initiative. So the MTN Yellowpreneur Initiative is, a, is an initiative of the MTN Foundation and it's targeted at female entrepreneurs who have run their businesses for about two years. Uh, and what the initiative is all about is building their capacity and also being able to support them with funding. Partners and collaborators shed more light on their involvement. So we are bringing on the table experience Ghana over the two years as an institution. And so working with MTN and Panadol Investing means that these three institutions are on their right, very strong corporate names. So for them to come together, the MTN providing funding, uh, BOI providing structures to align that funding to would be entrepreneurs which are women, and of course Pan American University working with us to provide the capacity building. With focus on the woman entrepreneur, some participants speak on the journey so far and the impact on their businesses. There's a very serious capacity building going on presently in the sense that we're taking through some courses taking through some um, marketing, business courses, things to open up our knowledge to the world of business. With over 24 billion Naira already invested, touching lives in 2,919 communities with 1,002 projects, the MTN Foundation says it's on its path to impacting lives in the country, especially those who are willing to dare to do more.